the worst free agent signings in Yankees history. Kei Ogawa was supposed to be a perfectly capable starter in the Yankees rotation in 2007 after coming over from the Hanshin Tigers in Japan, but that wasn't nearly the case. The revelation this was a bad signing started with his first bullpen session in camp. Bullpen catcher Mike Borzello said, and I quote, I hope he's hurt, so there's an explanation for throwing like that. Is that good? It got what totaled 71 and two-thirds innings in the bigs over two years with an unsightly 6.66 ERA, an accurately devilish reminder of the money the team set on fire to bring him in. During the final years of his deal, Igawa was mired in Scranton Wilkes-Barre, which probably felt better anyway. He could still pitch, but none of it mattered. Countryside, ideal. Good news, the next season his FIP was just 3.13. Bad news, his whip almost matched it. 3.25. He only contributed four innings, he surrendered 13 hits and six runs, he didn't whiff a single batter, and he never pitched in MLB again. Easily making him one of 